How are you guys? In this video, I will talk about VLAN hopping attack. Now the basic function of a VLAN is to restrict one category of devices from accessing the network of different category of devices. But in VLAN hopping attack, an attacker can access the systems in different VLANs and he can target a specific system in different VLAN. So the VLAN hopping attack can be carried out using two techniques. So the first technique is switch spoofing and the second technique is double tagging. And in this video I will uh, discuss the full flow diagram of both of these uh, techniques. So th uh, these are two switches and uh, to switch A, there are certain pieces connected uh, to the certain ports of switch A. So all these ports are in uh, uh, same VLAN, therefore the pieces can communicate with each other. And similarly, uh, there are certain ports uh, which are in different VLANs to which printers are connected. So the printers can communicate with each other but these printers cannot communicate with the PCs because the PCs are in different VLAN. Now the same scenario is on switch B. So the PCs on switch A uh, cannot communicate with the PCs on switch B because there is no link. For that matter, uh, we configure a port on switch A as shrunk port and uh, similarly on switch B and we connect uh, the trunk ports to each other. So the trunk port can carry the traffic of multiple VLANs and in this case it can carry the traffic of PC VLAN as well as printer VLANs. So now the PCs on different uh, switches can communicate with each other and the printers on these uh, two different switches can communicate with each other. But even now the PCs and the printers cannot communicate uh, to each other since uh, these devices are in different VLANs. So in VLAN hopping attack, the attacker can uh, overcome this limitation and if uh, he is in one VLAN, he can hop from that VLAN to another VLAN in order to target a specific system in second VLAN. So he does that by using uh, two techniques so the first technique is sw switch spoofing and in this technique the attacker take advantages uh, of a protocol known as dynamic trunking protocol or DTP. So this dynamic trunking protocol uh, is also known as auto trunking. Uh, so in this uh, dynamic trunking protocol which is a proprietary protocol of Cisco any port on a switch can be configured as trunk port. So if the attacker can pretend that uh, its system is a switch, so it, uh, the attacker can convert any port on switch A as a trunk port if the dynamic trunking protocol is enabled on switch A. So in this way, the attacker can access all the VLANs on uh, the switch A. So what we can do is we can disable the dynamic trunking protocol and we can also uh, explicitly configure all the ports on switch A as access port. So in this way, the access port has the limitation that it can carry the traffic of one VLAN at a time. So therefore by configuring all the ports on a switch as access port, the attacker cannot uh, take advantage of the auto trunking feature and, it ca and he cannot convert a uh, access port to a trunk port even if it, uh, his system is pretending as a switch. So the second uh, technique for VLAN hopping attack is double tagging. And in double tagging, uh, the attacker 
wants to target a server in a different VLAN so what he does that he connects uh, his system uh, to uh, an access port which is a non sensitive port on switch B and now he wants to target the server on switch A uh, which is in different VLAN so he uh, will craft a packet with two uh, VLAN IDs so the first VLAN ID uh, would be the VLAN ID of the port or the VLAN to which uh, he is connected currently and the second VLAN ID would, uh, would be a malicious VLAN ID that would be the VLAN ID of the server VLAN uh, to which he wants to target so once uh, this packet uh, would pass through the trunk port on the switch B then the trunk port uh, would strip off the outer VLAN ID uh, since the VLAN ID 1 would be the native VLAN of switch B so once uh, the this frame would reach the other end of the trunk port that is the trunk port on switch A then the switch A would think that uh, this frame belongs to uh, the server VLAN and uh, the switch A would send this frame to the server so in this way the attacker is able to hop from VLAN 1 to VLAN 2 using this double tagging so the uh, this VLAN tagging attack uh, is unidirectional it means that attacker can uh, send only the packet but he cannot get the response from the server so the countermeasures include that uh, we configure all the ports on switch B as uh, with different VLAN ID so if the VLAN ID uh, is not VLAN ID 1 then the attacker cannot use the native VLAN ID to perform this attack moreover uh, we can use or configure the native VLAN uh, differently or with different VLAN ID than the VLAN ID 1 so we can configure the native VLAN uh, as uh, with the VLAN ID of any VLAN which is unused and the third uh, countermeasure is that uh, we can allow explicit tagging of native VLAN so in this case the tag port would not strip off the outer VLAN ID because we have uh, configured uh, the feature of explicit VLAN tagging even if this VLAN is native VLAN so the native uh, VLAN has the advantage that uh, by default if it passes through the trunk v uh, port then the trunk port will strip off the native VLAN and since both the switches would know that any packet without a VLAN ID would belongs to a native VLAN so uh, both the switches can communicate uh, on this native VLAN that is without VLAN ID on trunk port but once we will explicitly configure uh, that the v native VLAN has to use the VLAN ID so the trunk port on both sides would not strip off the outer VLAN ID so in this case the inner VLAN ID would not be used and attacker would not be able uh, to hop from VLAN 1 or any uh, native VLAN to different VLAN so this was all from my side please stay connected uh, to this channel for similar videos thank you